Uh, we all have things we like to dream about doing in life, right? Mm -hmm. Now, though, a new survey shows that seven out of ten people worry that poor health would limit their life experiences. And so their fear is that if they aren't well enough to do, they won't be able to do the things that they want to do in life, especially as they get older. This survey was looking specifically at people with type 2 diabetes or people with, with heart disease, and they found that a significant number of people who have those two things really worry about not being able to enjoy the things that they want to do. I mean, some of this seems very obvi obvious, right? Like, right, uh, yeah, Riley? I yeah. mean, if you have had a stroke or a heart attack right. or have type 2 diabetes, Let's be honest, you probably should be worried that your health is going to limit your experiences, right? Right. Yeah, I, I would I would assume so too. I mean, or you know, you want to try to better yourself to so you could, you know, do more things, but uh I, I mean, I I would say that's kind of the obvious decision. So, the numbers are pretty striking though. You talk if you have those issues, if you have the heart disease, if you have the type 2 diabetes, 90% of people said that they were worried that their health would limit them. Yeah. If you look at just everybody else. Who are these 10% who think it wouldn't? Right, of course exactly. it's going to. Right, um, right. People, they said 60% of yeah. people. So there's still people, even if you don't have those serious conditions, there's still a lot of people that say, oh, I'm concerned I won't be able to do what I want to do. Yeah. Like be the anxiety maybe with like the, with COVID? I'm sure that, it, and, and you, COVID actually really shines a spotlight on this because it makes people evaluate their health, evaluate mm -hmm. the health of their loved ones, mm -hmm. perhaps their parents or their grandparents, and that time that they're missing with them and sort of appreciating mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. moments and the things that maybe you thought you might be able to do, and now because of COVID, right. you can't. Right, and I, I relate to that experience because my, my mom lives out of town, you know, mm -hmm. and my family is on the West Coast as well, so uh, I don't get to see them that much, yeah. you know, so I mean, they get to see the kids through, uh, you know, FaceTime or something like that, but for example, I have a stepfather who is, um, sick in the hospital right now he, he flew it in his lung and it collapsed and i can't really go home right now to do it right. to, to to be there and that's hard for me in the mm -hmm. survey they also found because of covid 80 percent say that daily moments with loved ones are more special yeah. those little moments are more special and 85 percent say they're more grateful for time with loved ones and i think you know to me like a lot of this stuff about the health is super, super obvious. No surprise whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But it does underscore how much our health does. Uh, it, it impacts everything. Mm -hmm. So if you can try to prevent going down this road to being in one of those situations, obviously you, you get more chances to be grateful for those times with loved ones. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah.